Yes, Bishop Whitehead over there dealing with mm, 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 giving honor to the woman. And I'm not one of the armories, but I tell you, I'm giving honor to them too because I'm a woman of God. And I know how hard it is to work in the vineyard. So blessings to each and every one of you that getting that honoree and getting that blessing for the glory of Hashem. And we all queens are rooting for every queen who is in the vineyard doing labor and that is in leadership. And don't forget about our armor bearers too. Mm. Mm -hmm. They work hard. So we have to give honor to that. Honor to them too. The blessing. You see the holy light. <laughs> the holy light. <laughs> the blessing of Yeshua, Yahshua Mashiach. Shining on me. Shining on me. <laughs> the blessing of Yeshua, Yahshua Mashiach. So blessings to each and every one of you. That Bishop Whitehead is giving honor to those that is in the church. The church woman's. And we are thanking God for the blessing. And he is doing things with mm -hmm, hip hop. He is doing things with that to the extreme. So I tell you. Is on the move. Is on the move. We are on the move. <laughs> All right. Now, you know how much I love having fun. Love laughing. Love laughing. Telling you in the power of Yeshua, Yashua Mashiach. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, there better be watching that spicy hot topics. <laughs> love keeping it spicy. And be catching the. Bible studies that I'll be pushing out there too. Mm -hmm. And don't forget Midnight Gospel Hour. All right, now we're going to go into the recap. And I'm going to go into the recap with a review to let you know how this service went. I tell you, the service was popping time. You got into the house of the Lord. Well, let me give you the scoop. Um, Angela E., who you know, from the Breakfast Club was also one of the honorees. And I tell you, she's a Brooklyn native and I'm telling you, she's doing some phenomenal things right here in Brooklyn, my hometown, Brooklyn. And she from Flatbush, right where I'm from. Right here, Flatbush baby is in the house. And we over here in Flatbush, we be rocking it. That's right, we rock it over here in Flatbush. But she, the presentation that she gave with her testimony, it was phenomenal. So you will be seeing a clip of that so keep on watching and you will hear her and watching her receive her blessing on uranium from the mm, from Senator Hamilton as well as the bishop. And go ahead now, Angela E. You doing your thing, keeping it real in the house of the Lord and doing all of that good stuff with charity and different things that you helping here in Brooklyn, your home, my home. That's right. We Brooklyn Knights, we love helping our people, number one. And this is something that is all still really new to me. I know I'm on the Breakfast Club every morning, but as far as how I was raised, I'm from Brooklyn. And I don't know what that was. <laughs> but you know, my parents never really taught me much of this thing about owning homes, about being an entrepreneur. It wasn't something that I grew up thinking that was even possible for me. And so once I was able to go to put in my years, I've been doing radio for 15 years now. I started off as serious, now I'm at Power 105. And I started finding the middle. It's a struggle for a long time. There's a lot of beauty in that struggle. Um, yes, anyway. <laughs> so once I started finally making some money, one of the first things I said was, man, I have to buy a house, because I always thought, like, I get nervous, thinking what's going to happen when it's time higher if I don't own a home. And these are things that I just never thought about until I got older. So I did buy my house, and I still live in Brooklyn in Best Eye. And then the next thing I did was, I was like, okay, now I want to start investing in things that I care about, that I think are beneficial for people. So what I did was I wanted to do a juice bar. So I went to Styles P, because he had three of them already. And I do believe that it's so important for us to pool our resources and come together. One of the main things for me to be successful in business is to go to somebody that's already done it, has some experience. And I can say, okay, I love how I went to this juice bar in Yonkers, and I saw all the different people coming in there. I think that day, like, Amina Butterfly came in there. I saw cops. I saw kids. I saw everybody. And I said, this is what 
I want my juice bar to be like. I want to, I want to have people that look like us running it, and I want to have all different types of people coming through and just being healthier, have a great vibe. So I ran up on Styles P. while he had a video shoot, and I said, we want to do a juice bar also in Brooklyn. He was like, all right, sis, you know, go ahead. I know you're serious about it. I know you care about your community. So I found a spot to tell Malcolm X Boulevard, and we've been open. It'll be two years in September. <laughs> It's our job to report on the news, and sometimes the news can be so depressing. Sometimes, like every morning when I'm going through different stories, I read like 20 stories every morning to figure out what is appropriate for our audience, and it can be really hard to report on certain things. You know, I was watching the Trayvon Martin story, and that was so sad and hard for me to watch. And I think it's so important for us to make sure that we speak out things that shouldn't be happening and stop thinking that we can't make a change or make a difference. So that's why it's really important for me to see everybody here and everybody in this room making a difference for, um, for the future. And in particular with the juice bar, it means so much to me when I see kids and I see people, you know, 80 year old people that have never had vegetables or fruits and don't do that, come in and say, this has changed my life, literally. I can see their skin looks better, they lost weight, they have more energy, they feel great, they're coming in every single day. People have high blood pressure, their blood pressure is dropping back down. These are things that we need, like nutrition. We need to learn these things at an earlier age and make sure we implement them. So that's a lot of things that I've been doing. I started a run club in Brooklyn, and I just started that a couple of months ago. It's called Run With Ye. Just did it on Monday, the second one, and it was like 60 people that came out. It meant a lot to me, you know, for people to go to Prospect Park and run that have never run before. And some people that are, are professional runners. But there's a lot of people that never ran before. They were walking, they were doing a little job, walk, job, walk. But that was like at the end of it for people to come up and be like, man, this is dope. I never ran three and a quarter miles before. I never ran a 5K. So this is inspirational. When's the next one? And it's little things like that. I have a book club in Brooklyn too. Brooklyn clearly is, means a lot to me. But I have a, a book club in Brooklyn also um, at Woodstock. And you know, every single month we come out and we read books and I have books that we give away for free. We have a DJ, we have a bar. I just want it to be a great environment to help authors that have these books, but also encourage people to read. It turns into like a town hall. So, you know, Beverly Bond has come through. We did the Black Girls Rock book. That was a great event. Um, the last book that we just did recently, we had Rob Hill Sr. come through and he was promoting his book. But just things like that just mean so much to me. So I just want to say that I appreciate everybody that's been supporting me. But I think it's so important that as we are making our money, starting our businesses, that we pay it forward and make sure we do things that benefit the next generation. So thank you so much for this. Before you go, Angela, listen, we, we want to really um, encourage you to what you're doing. No matter what ridicule, no matter what people say, you know, and this is what um, I stand for, bringing everybody together. Because if we come together, nobody can stop us. So if you continue to push forward, you're pushing behind you, you know, and we appreciate you. You're in a position with a voice, and we're here for you. We just want to say thank you. All right. Esteemed of both community and of the great state of New York, uh, in witness whereof, I here unto set my hand and our uh, signature, Latrice Monique Walker, member of the 55th District. Amen. Let's give a round of applause for that. And the last one, I'd like my fiance do this one. Come on up here. Amen. I need you to walk. Citation honoring Angela Yee, exemplary service. Whereas a great state is only as great as those individuals that perform exemplary service on behalf of their community, whether through unique achievement in professional or other endeavors, or simply through a lifetime of good citizenship. And whereas it is the sense of this legislative body that when individuals of such noble aims and accomplishments are brought to our attention, it is appropriate to publicly proclaim and commend those individuals for the edification and emulation of others. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, he, State Senator Jesse Hamilton, commend Angela Yee for exemplary service to the community state, and be it further resolved that a copy of this citation be 
transmitted to Angela Yee, signed Jesse Hamilton, New York State Senate. <laughs> from Romans the 13 chapter starting from verse 6 to 14 for for this cause pay ye tribute also for they are God ministers attending continually upon this very thing render therefore to all their dues tribute to whom tribute is due custom to whom custom fear to whom fear honor to whom honor Oh, no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another has fulfilled the law for this thou shalt not commit adultery thou shalt not kill thou shalt not steal thou shalt not bear false witness thou shalt not covet and if there be any other commandment it is briefly comprehended in this saying namely thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself love work and wantness not in strife and envy but put ye on the Lord Yahushua HaMashiach, who is Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. And that is the major order when it coming down to the church and into the world of hip hop and love. We got to put on the full armor and we have to walk in honesty, be honest to one another. And that is the major. And the 11th verse and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awaken out of sleep for now is our salvation near than when we believe it is right now that we must see that time is changing everything that we are doing is under the micro glass right now everything is being recorded in the blood of yeshua yashua mashiach it is time now to be awakened wake up in the power of yeshua yashua mashiach and that knowing the time that now is high time to awaken out of sleep for now is our salvation near than when we believe listen out for part two we will be having a part two and a part three of this segment so please stay tuned all right now hip-hop in the church that's right hip-hop in the church